Calling out false teachers is not fun, but it is necessary. Jesus loves the church, and the church is called to protect sheep by preaching the truth and calling out error. Romans 16, verses 17 and 18 says, Now I urge you, brothers and sisters, to keep your eye on those who cause dissensions and hindrances contrary to the teaching which you learned, and turn away from them, for they are slaves of not the Lord Jesus Christ, but their own appetites. And by their smooth and flattering speech, they deceive the hearts of the unsuspecting. False teachers are looking for people who fall for flattery and who do not know their Bibles. Biblical literacy and discernment should matter to all of us if we love Christ and people. Pastor Mike Todd of Transformation Church in Tulsa, Oklahoma, has become a polarizing figure within the Christian community, attracting both admiration and criticism. His dynamic approach and willingness to employ unconventional methods have drawn significant attention. Todd's journey began in 1986 when he was born to pastor parents, but his path to the pulpit wasn't straightforward. He struggled with various personal issues, including an addiction to adult content and legal troubles. Despite these challenges, he found his way back to faith, ultimately merging two congregations and becoming a lead pastor in 2015. Transformation Church has grown remarkably under his leadership, evidenced by the purchase of the Spirit Bank Event Center for $10, five cents million, and the successful launch of his Relationship Goals series, which went viral and became a New York Times best selling book. However, Todd's methods, such as crowd surfing during services and a controversial Easter play featuring secular music and performances, have sparked debates about the appropriateness of his approach to worship. <laughs> yeah, because the vision I'm about to give you, it might get nasty. And do you, do you hear and see the responses? Of Pastor Mike Todd's controversial actions during a sermon in January 2022, where he spit in his hand and smeared it on a man's face to illustrate a Bible story, sparked widespread outrage and disgust. This incident highlighted a broader criticism often directed at trendy churches that prioritize attention, grabbing presentations over the core message of the gospel. Todd's intent was to make the biblical story of Jesus healing a blind man come alive, but the method he chose was deemed unhygienic and offensive by many. The backlash was swift, with people calling the spectacle horrifying and disgusting. Even Todd, upon re-watching the footage, admitted it was too much and detracted from his intended message. This event underscores a growing concern about contemporary churches that use theatrical and sensational methods to engage their congregations. Critics argue that these tactics often distract from the gospel message and reduce sacred teachings to mere entertainment. The emphasis on viral moments and trendy presentations can overshadow the deeper spiritual truths that churches are meant to convey. Sir, up all over the communion. I don't care so much. Over the Bible, too. Y'all, stop acting like you care about this. Why do you care about these eight chairs and these symbols of Christianity when it's not even the place where the Holy Spirit is dwelling? I am the temple of the Holy Spirit. It's just such self-aggrandizing, vapid nonsense. This is a distraction from scripture. This is distraction from the gospel. This is a dereliction of duty as a preacher, a teacher, a handler of the word of God. And I would just ask Mike Todd to take his station a lot more seriously, have a much more somber approach to preaching because teachers are going to be judged more harshly than the rest of us. And he's got a lot coming for him if he doesn't repent. Pastor Mike Todd of Transformation Church has faced multiple controversies, including accusations of dishonesty and making inappropriate comments about women's bodies. These issues have contributed to a growing backlash against his leadership and the methods employed by his church. One significant controversy involved Todd's inappropriate comments about women's bodies. 
During various sermons and public appearances, his remarks have been perceived as disrespectful and objectifying, leading to widespread criticism. Such comments have fueled concerns about the kind of example he sets for his congregation, especially in a religious context where respect and dignity should be paramount. Additionally, Todd's church has been criticized for hosting a controversial music performance during an Easter Sunday service in 2023. The production, titled Ransom, included pyrotechnics and musical renditions of secular songs like Beyonce's Formation, with lyrics altered to fit the church setting. One performance even included a discussion about a woman's small buttocks, which many deemed highly inappropriate for a sacred space. This event further amplified concerns about the church prioritizing sensationalism and entertainment over traditional worship and reverence. The backlash intensified as videos of the performance circulated online, drawing negative reactions from both within and outside the Christian community. Critics argued that the church's departure from conventional worship practices in favor of edgy, attention-grabbing performances was not only disrespectful, but also distracted from the core message of Christianity. I do tons of stuff I don't like doing because of the vision that God's given me. Can I be hot with y'all, humble, open, and transparent? I don't like studying to preach every Sunday. It is tedious work for me. I start on Wednesday to get to Sunday, and I'm working on Thursday and on Friday and on Saturday, and I'm tweaking up until 30 minutes before service on Sunday. Every week. I hate it. They get the crowds roaring by preaching the prosperity gospel, which is that it's always God's will for you if you'll just believe in Jesus Christ to be happy, healthy, and wealthy in all areas of your life. The church's doctrinal statement actually says under the heading health and prosperity, we believe that as part of Christ's work of salvation, it is the Father's will for believers to become whole, healthy, and successful in all areas of life, spiritual, mental and emotional, physical, and financial. That's all you need to mark and avoid Michael Todd as a prosperity gospel preacher because the prosperity gospel is not a minor secondary issue. I've written a book called God, Greed, and the Prosperity Gospel, and it takes down every single error they teach while propping up God's glorious truth. And if you need some more help on the prosperity gospel, you can watch the documentary American Gospel to learn all about why false teachers who preach the prosperity gospel should be avoided at all cost. Michael Todd's influence is dangerous. And because of his egregious antics in the pulpit, many people are being led astray. One recent example is when he butchered the meaning of John chapter 9 and Jesus' healing of the blind man to mean that when God gives you a vision, things are going to get messy, referring to how Jesus spat in mud and rubbed it on the man's eyes when healing his blindness. The whole message is a disgusting failure to preach God's word accurately and faithfully. In response to these controversies, Todd and his church have often defended their methods as attempts to make the gospel more accessible and engaging, particularly to younger audiences. However, the repeated instances of controversial actions and statements have led many to question the overall direction and intentions of Transformation Church under Todd's leadership. The ongoing debate highlights the challenges modern churches face in balancing innovation with reverence and maintaining a focus on the core teachings of their faith Critics argue that Todd's actions often prioritize entertainment over the gospel, suggesting he might be more focused on personal fame and financial gain. His prosperity gospel teachings, emphasizing material wealth as a sign of God's favor, further fuel these concerns. Additionally, Todd's controversial decision to hire Carl Lentz, a former pastor at Hillsong Church dismissed for moral failures, has added to the scrutiny. Despite these controversies, Todd has also been involved in notable philanthropic efforts, including a $3.05 million one-day blessing spree and significant donations to survivors of the Tulsa Race Massacre. While his unconventional style has undoubtedly brought Transformation Church into the spotlight, it continues to raise questions about his true motivations and the long-term impact on his congregation's spiritual growth.